Hello, my name is Hugh Agro, President and CEO of Revival Gold. Revival is a growth company in gold. We're advancing the 100% pure Bear Track Arnett Gold Project located in the western U.S. state of Idaho. This is a brownfields restart of the largest past producing gold project in Idaho. The project has much of its production infrastructure still in place. This will allow us to quickly bring Bear Track Arnett into production with minimal capital. The project will generate $36 million per year of free cash flow in this gold cycle. I'll tell you about the exciting exploration results we are getting and the potential we see for a large mill phase of operation at Bear Track Arnett. Revival Gold enjoys three major strategic advantages. Jurisdiction is top of the list. There is a 125 year history of precious metals production in Idaho. The state sits right above Nevada and hosts a 26 million ounce endowment of undeveloped gold. In terms of the policy environment, Idaho is ranked number one in the world by Fraser Institute. Another of Revival Gold's strategic advantages is infrastructure. We have roads, an active power line, and a gold processing facilities. These items offer 40 to $50 million of capital savings. Existing infrastructure minimizes funding, risks, and permitting required to restart the operation. We're one hour's drive from a supportive and very livable community of 3,000 people. All of this helps to drive economics, which is our third major strategic advantage. We have an initial 72,000 ounce a year of gold production in a phased approach. Phasing reduces upfront financing and complexity. We are a top five in grade among large and independently owned North American uh, open pit gold projects. The first phase heap leach restart alone generates $36 million a year of free cash flow at 1550 gold, and it increases to $50 million a year of free cash flow at current gold prices. I'll turn now to our upcoming resource and technical developments. The past two years of drilling by our geologists will culminate in the release of an updated resource in the first quarter next year. We're looking to upgrade and expand our current resource of 3 million ounces. While we've been drilling, we've had the engineers working on three tons of metallurgical testing, geotechnical, and other analysis. Here we see opportunities to increase recoveries and optimize the project. This work will lead to the completion of a preliminary feasibility study by the end of 2022. The PFS sets up a decision point on a potential restart of the heap leach operation. Construction would commence in 2024, and the first gold core could come in 2025. But what's got me most excited is our exploration results. The Haiti zone is open in all directions. We're currently drilling to infill and expand the oxide resource in this location with two drill rigs. At the Jaw Stone, we've released 15 high-grade intercepts to date, over half a mile of strike with 4 to 11 grams of gold per ton over a 1 to 5 meter true thickness. More results are on their way. These results at Jaws are catalytic to our mill phase and have the potential to help grow Bear Track Arnett to better than 5 million ounces of gold take production from 70,000 ounces a year to 250,000 ounces a year. In closing, we've talked about Revival Gold's three strategic advantages, jurisdiction, infrastructure, and economics. We've talked about the upcoming work programs underway to put Bear Track Arnett back into production. And we've talked about the outstanding exploration results Revival is getting that could take the company's mill phase to 250,000 ounces a year. I strongly believe this supports Revival Gold as an exciting, 100% pure growth company in gold, with a low cost path to becoming a high free cash flow miner in this cycle. Thank you.